subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos hello friend this is mandeep and you are watching high technology tv in this video i will show you how to configure system replication in sap hana so these are the prerequisites that are mandatory prior to configure our system replication this will include the same sid will be there for both our system so and if there is any changes in inm file then it must be replicated manually to the our secondary system and our primary and secondary system both are installed and configured the number of nodes will be same and all configuration step have to be executed on the master name server node also the software version should be same as of primary so these are the prerequisite also initial data backup of our system and tenant data should be done also one more prerequisite that is mentioned in sap hana 2.0 is that we have to let me show you that we have to dot dat file and same file we in our key with key extension so both of these files should be copied to our secondary system this is introduced in sap hana 2.0 onwards so this is also mandatory so let's go to the sap hana studio to configure system replication we can use sap hana cockpit sap hana studio and by command line we can configure it through three ways so these are our system this is our primary system and this is is our secondary system so first of all let's take a backup and then click on next and it will start taking backup of our system database Okay, so backup of our system database is done. So now take a backup of our tenant database. So go to backup and recovery, and then click on backup tenant database. So here choose your tenant. get in detail about what about the backup and recovery you can check my video i will provide the link in the description box
now copy our key file and here you can check that it is the extension of key so download it go to configuration and monitoring and here you can see that we have an option of configure system replication so just click on it and here we have to provide the SID ADM username and password here we it will open a pop-up window and on that it is showing us action and by default it is chosen enable system replication so just click on next and here this is our primary system logical name so I'm giving it name site one and here you can see that our host is HANA VM1 and instance is 00 so click on next and click on finish so our system replication on our primary system is done so prior to configure the secondary system first we have to do is stop our system so just go to the configuration and monitoring and then click on stop system
here you can see that our SAP HANA system is stopped so again just right click on it go to configuration and monitoring and then go to the configure system replication and here you have an option that is check by self that is register secondary system so just click on next and here we have to provide a name logical name and giving it site 2 and replication mode is synchronous in memory here we have three options that is synchronous synchronous in memory and asynchronous so by default these are depend upon the usage and depend upon the location between two data center so here i am choosing asynchronous and operation mode is of two type that is delta data shipping and second one is log replay so here i am choosing log replay and here our source system information that is this is our target and here we have to provide our source that is HANA VM1 this is our source system so if you want to initiate full data shipping you can check it but here I am not checking it and just click on next and here it will show us the summary so I am clicking on finish and it start configuring our SAP HANA system replication on our this system and it automatically start our this server that is HANA VM2 our secondary system and here as you can see that it start starting our services so it's going to take a, a while to start all the services so meanwhile okay so all of the services are started so let's go back to our primary system this is our primary system and here you have an option that is system replication status and it is green here and all services are active and in synchronized mode so you can check the status here just click on this and here it will give us a detail overview of our system replication here you can check it so let's do a takeover so go to your secondary system go to configure and monitoring and then go to configure system replication But prior to that, let uh, let we create some data into our second uh, primary server. So just choose primary server. Open the SQL console, and here I am creating two schema. That is create schema. D. So just execute it.
it's executed successfully so here let me show you here in catalog you can check here that this is our steam among deep and this is testing duplication so let's go to our secondary system and go to configure and monitoring and then go to configure system replication and a pop-up window will appear so here now we have an option that is enabled that is perform takeover so just choose it and click on next and this is our secondary system so just click on next and click on finish and you can check the status here Okay, so this is our HANA VM2. So let's refresh it. And go to the catalog. And here you can see that now we have a schema name Mandi and schema name testing replication. So status here so okay friend by this way we can configure system replication in sap hana system and how to how to do the takeover okay friend thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel have a nice day